It started, you know, maybe around seventh, eighth grade. I started acting up more than the average student or kid would. A lot of it stemmed from me just stuffing emotions in, you know. The smallest thing would just set me off. I would throw things, break things, or I just would completely ignore, you know. I had no control over um, what I was doing um, or how I would react. And it affected my parents, and I have three sisters. I mean, it affected them a lot, too. He was very disrespectful to his sisters, especially, uh, and to me, and nothing that I did um, or my husband did would help him kind of snap him out of it. Yeah, I, I did run away from my problems a lot. I didn't want to face them because I knew how, how um, they were self-induced. Um, and I was just, I was really ashamed, to be honest, that I would treat my family like that because deep down I knew it was wrong. I would always just run away. I just didn't know what else to do. His therapist said, I think it's time to send Henry somewhere where he can get better help. It's based on seven packets. They're all core values. You have accountability, honesty, forgiveness, acceptance, integrity, trust and respect, and service. You know, you first learn um, to be accountable for your like emotions, actions, feelings, past, um, and just owning up to your part. But that is like the basis of this program. It's a self-governing program. You gotta take care of um, yourself. No one else is gonna, they're not gonna baby you here, which I think is also awesome um, because no one babies you in the real world. I was on track to graduate in December um, and I got to turn in my packet, um, but it didn't go through. It's right at the end, you know, it's, it was all downhill, you know, I had everything I needed to learn um, and I could see it and it's just, it's just like not looking where you're going, you trip over something, someone trips you, someone cuts you off. My reaction, I gotta say, was kind of like, huh, another consequence, you knew what you needed to do, you didn't dot the I's, you didn't cross the T's, and at the time we didn't quite know exactly what he did or didn't do. All we kind of knew was that the packet didn't go through. At first I was, I was really frustrated because that means I was here for Christmas. I had to stay another month. Um, I would start my school year two weeks late. I entrusted my child to Eagle Ranch Academy, and I have to trust, as you guys always say, trust the process. And while that was hard at times, especially then, it was something that needed to be done, and why would we pull the rug out at the 11th hour and pull him or something like that? I either gotta suck it up, um, or I can just sit in my crap and maybe even have to graduate in February or March if I don't like pick myself up after this. And that's, I think, the biggest part I learned is that like, hey, I can still learn a lot from this situation. You know, I have almost completed the program, but there's always more to it. I love him. Um, I'm proud of him. I think he did a lot of hard work. I don't think when he started here he ever thought he could graduate. Um, so I'm very proud of him. I'm very emotional, but I'm very hopeful and I'm very excited to see what, what Henry's going to become. I really do feel like um, I have finished the race. Um, I completed the program, crossed the finish line, and I'm just excited to see the results.